Hello, my name is Keely Hunter and I am from Windsor. I will be attending Escoffier next July. <laughs> Today I will be making uh, lime raspberry petite floors. I chose these because my mom makes a really good raspberry filling and I wanted to incorporate it in my video. So you're going to want to preheat your oven for 375. Good. First, you're going to want to prep your pan. By spraying pan or having butter on the pan will help the parchment paper stay in place to place the cake inside. I use parchment paper so that the cake doesn't stick to the pan and it's easier to pull out of the pan. It also helps from cooking evenly. <clears throat> as you can see, I push into the corners as even as possible. It's not going to be perfect, but it always works as best as it can. And after that, you're going to butter the top of your parchment paper just to be safe. Here I'm just cutting off the extra parchment paper, just keep the parchment paper out of the way of the cake. As well as being left handed, it's quite complicated, but you figure it out. For the chiffon cake, you're going to uh, mix all dry ingredients except for granulated sugar. You're going to have 14.5 ounces of cake flour, 8.75 ounces of confectioner's sugar, and 0.5 ounces of baking powder. You're going to sift these together. Obviously, I don't have a sifter, so all I did was a wire strainer and mixed it together. We are then going to add the rest of the ingredients, counting uh, 3.25 ounces of eggs, 6 ounces of oil, and 6.75 ounces of whole milk, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. And make sure to mix well. Next, in a large bowl, you're going to take 9.5 ounces of granulated sugar and 13 ounces of egg whites, and you are going to whisk. I start in the bowl just to mix it, and then add it to the mixer and mix till nice and fluffy. So while this is mixing, and we're whipping the eggs and the sugar, we're going to want to mix them and we're going to fold them together and then we're going to add it to our cake pan and put it in the oven. Once it's mixed well, you'll see that it's starting to make medium peaks, kind of like a drizzle. That means that it's ready for the next step. Here's where we start folding. Berries. 
What are we making here, Keely? We are making my mom's raspberry filling, which we use in our small cake business. Um, it's our customer's favorite and my favorite. to have a little bit chunks because the more that we are getting into the process the chunks will go away. So as I'm mashing this you can see that there are seeds in there and if you prefer no seeds my mom and I take cheese cloth in a strainer and we just pretty much mash the raspberries right through the cheese cheese cloth and that can divide the seeds from the fruit. So here we have kind of a soup raspberry. Put that over there. Let that simmer a little. My mom and I like to have a tang to our raspberry filling. So we put one to two small squeezes of lime into our raspberry sauce. Roll your lime if it's too hard to squeeze. This will help. Then mix in one cup of sugar. Make sure you let it simmer for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add cornstarch to water and mix slowly into filling. Let simmer. After simmering, you should have a jelly-like filling. What are we doing now, Kelly? We are going to make lime syrup for our cake. A whole bunch of lime. Some sugar. And water. I have one cup of water and one cup of sugar add to the saucepan. Let boil. Then take off heat, cool, and add two third cup of lime juice. Next is our lime swiss meringue buttercream. You're going to take 8 ounces of egg whites and 16 ounces of sugar and mix in a mixing bowl. Mix constantly for a while. Then take over a boiling pot of water and mix whisk as much as you can until it's 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Then take back to the mixer and mix until you can touch it and it's cooler th than your hands. Then by teaspoon by teaspoon add one pound of room temperature butter. When the butter is mixed make sure to add your lime juice. buttercream on top of the jam. Then add the second layer of cake onto the top with a, another brush of lime syrup.
top of the petite floor to create a clear and smooth coating. Hello, my name 